everyone, this is Baker, and I'm going to be going over a tutorial again about <clears throat> syncing uh, kill streaks and shots to music in After Effects using the time remap. Um, I'll try to explain like a visual way to, to learn it. And uh, this is just a clip I got with my second account called Jazz. Yeah. So uh, let's go ahead and right into it so I can make this fast. Go ahead and make a uh, new comp. Just normal. And uh, drag in your clip. This is me on Vogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Getting the crazy stuff. Alright, so bring in a music song. So let's go down to audio. Audio and some waveform so we can kind of see what's going on. And go forward until you want. So pretend like you're in a uh, montage clip already. So let's see where we are in the song. Just really quick. <clears throat> you want to look for like you know big jumps in the waveform. That's that's what you're basically gonna need for this part. So let's see real quick. Okay, so I'm pretty close. So what I'm gonna do is. Go over on this one and also push L for audio and look at that waveform and the first kill happens at this big jump. See that? So I'm just gonna line that up with or just line it somewhere around here. <coughs> Cause I want the beat to be on the snare, and you can cut it's hard to see, but you can see a bass right here, and the snare here, and a bass, snare. So you wanna kinda it's uh, a little bit of trial and error, but go ahead and line up that first first clip. Let's see. Okay, so that's good for now. So what we're gonna do is go into your clip, go to layer, time, and enable timer mapping. So the best way I can think of uh, explain this is like think of a long thing of silly putty or something, and then these two are like nails to keep it fixed in place. And then if you have if you put a nail in the middle and you move it, you know all this gets squished and this, the right side, gets uh, stretched. And a cool thing what you can do is if you put two keyframes and move them both, the stuff in between has the same like space in between, so it's played at the same rate. And the left gets played fast, the right gets played slow. So that's basically the idea of this. So what we want is when he's going to kill somebody, we want it to stay relatively like normal speed. And then when he's doing ever other things, it's going to be um, speeding up or speeding down depending on how long the clip is. All right, so first sniper kill. So let's just only focus on the clip right here. So these loud marks, that's obviously where the sound is for the kill. So we're going to make a keyframe there, and then you want <coughs> about uh, about a half a second on either side of that kill. And then go up to the next kill, big blip right there in the audio waveform, and a little less than half a second either side. And there's another kill. And what you can't do is just copy and paste keyframes, like just copy these and then paste them. Because the keyframes are um, marked by, like the keyframe, the uh, clip frame number. There we go. So it would essentially be playing the same thing over and over. So you gotta actually do this by hand for every kill. But you know, normally you won't get a crazy like 15 kill streak, so you won't really need to do so much. So I'm just gonna. Go ahead and fast forward this part so you don't have to sit through it, and I'll see you in a few minutes. <coughs> Alright, so here are basically all my keyframes, and uh, there's a lot. Uh, there's going to be three keyframes for every kill, basically. And um, so here's the actual syncing part, you guys. So if we zoom in here, try again, try to look for the big jumps so we can see there's bass, snare, bass, Snare. So this is where, if you see right here, this is where our we want our next kill to be. So we got to line up this middle keyframe to that line. And uh, what you really want to do is highlight all of these. And let's extend this really quick. 
just in case we go over. But oh, what the hell? Highlight all these that you want to move, and then move this keyframe to that line. That's about it. Now let's highlight the next keyframe. So instead of these three, highlight everything else. All right. So let's go and find the next part in our song. <clears throat> so we got kick, snare, kick, snare, kick. Snare looks about here, I think. Kind of. It's a bunch of trial and error, so you guys gotta, you know, play this back a lot. But I'm gonna try to do it first time through. We'll see how that goes. All right. So the next keyframes, all of those. Zoom back in here. Take a look at our audio. Snare, kick, snare, right about there. Sorry if I'm going a little fast, I really don't want this to be uh, a 15 minute tutorial. Um, let's see, kick, snare. So we're going to highlight these keyframes. Oops, that's going crazy, but I think I got all of them. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to move this middle keyframe again to this line, right there. Kick, snare, right there. Alright, highlight these keyframes. So I don't know if this is easier or harder than Sony Vegas, because I don't use Sony Vegas. Um, let me know if this is just like way too uh, time consuming or like uh, this is even really worth it. Uh, a lot of people wanted that tutorial when I posted the test yesterday, because apparently. Not a lot of you know how to do this in After Effects. So, I just want to share this. So, again, highlight all these. Uh, going down to the next beat, kick, snare, about about there. So, again, I think I might just fast forward this part. So, yeah, see you in a, see you in a few minutes. Alright, guys, so I just previewed this, and this is first try without any, like, uh, it's called trial and error checking. So I'm just gonna show you how I did. Let's see. I don't. I don't. I don't even know how I did. So let. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Hide. Cool. So there you go, guys. Uh, again, it's time remapping three key, three keyframes for every kill, about a half second on each side of the kill. Um, you gotta look at this waveform really up close to see where you want the beat. You can, oh, well, I don't know, but um, that's essentially it. And then what I did is I also just added a little bit of um, color correction. So I used my cinematic preset. I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, it just brings out the purples and the orangish yellows a little bit. And then I also added a real smart motion blur. That's that's always really nice. I think so. Motion sensitivity. Yeah. Makes it a little bit smoother. But um, let me know what you guys think. Is this, uh, is this a good method, do you guys think? You guys going to try this? Uh, send a video response if you uh, make a little video or test test edit. I'd like to see this, you guys. I wanna I wanna make sure that I'm helpful. And uh, if you could please like the video. Um, that's that's about it. So uh, I'll I'll put this clip at the end of the video as well, just just to show you guys. All right, peace.